Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling healthy because today our quote of the day is, there is nothing more important than our good health. That's our principal capital by Arlen Specter. Without having health, you cannot fulfill your full potential. The keys to success all require one to be healthy, both in body and in mind. Without health, you cannot work hard, nor can you focus for long, and you cannot motivate yourself when you are uh, unhealthy because you will be focused on your disease. When you are not healthy, you cannot follow all of your passions because you will not have the energy or the focus to do so. You will also not be able to do your best. The major keys to success will be lacking when you lack health. Self-awareness is another key element for success and is usually lacking when you are not caring for your, for your health properly. Even if you do achieve some form of success, you will not be able to fully enjoy it if you are not healthy. Now there are things that are not under our control. Certain handicaps or diseases may not be under your control, but you can control how you treat your body from this moment on. You can control the foods that you allow to enter your body and the amount of exercise that you do and the hours of sleep that you sleep as well as your hygiene practices. Controlling these is possible for most people and it is your responsibility to do the best you can for your health. The Apostle uh, Paul wrote, your body is a temple. And following this, Jim Rohn said that you should treat your body like a temple as, it, as if you are as if you are taking care of something that is very, very uh, important for you. When you take good care of your body, as if you were caring for a temple, then you are also taking good care of your mind. The body and mind work together and lead to your behaviors and your choices, which will eventually lead to your destiny. Health is your true wealth. You cannot reach your desired destination if what, you are, what is carrying you there is not in good shape. When you are in good shape, and you are in good health, all your body will support all of your endeavors. When you are feeling good, you can do your best. And when you don't feel good, you simply cannot do your best. Your health is your own personal responsibility. Unfortunately, one third of Americans do not participate in regular physical activity. And two thirds of the population is currently overweight. To reach your highest potential, you must feel good. You must find the time to exercise daily if your health permits. It doesn't need to be much exercise, but it does need to be something that you can commit to doing daily. And when you do exercise daily, you will see that you will actually have more energy uh, than when you don't exercise at all. Exercise makes you feel good by releasing the feel-good chemicals, endorphins. Exercise decreases stress and decreases anxiety and has been found to be closely related to higher levels of success. Physical activity will make any day better for you. I have a whole list of the benefits of physical uh, fitness in my best-selling book, The Gorilla Diet and Lifestyle Program. When you are living in a healthy body, you can take yourself anywhere you truly want to go. It is your responsibility to take care of yourself. And to do this, you must feed yourself well, ensure sufficient physical activity, and also sufficient rest as well as good hygiene. So, how well are you taking care of yourself? Well, we are all holistic by nature. We are holistic beings. So if you don't care for your physical body, this will influence every other aspect of your life as well. When one field of your life is out of alignment, then all other fields of life will suffer as well. You must take control of what enters your body just as you want to control what you allow to enter your mind. You must be uh, totally proactive about this. You want to think thoughts with the end in mind. You want to eat foods with the end in mind. You want to live your life with your preferred end in mind. It's the little bad choices that add up, and in the end, everything catches up. Without health, not only will you probably not have success, but you may really also not have very much. If you want to be a leader in your field, then you must live a long and healthy life. You can't lead or accumulate wealth from the graveyard. There are a few people who, who may have become legends and led a shorter life, but the life that they led was fuller than most people's. Most people take time to mature, and so it takes them time to reach the right habits and behaviors and skills needed for success. Most people only start to achieve their greatness in later years, 
I will make a video about this to show how much this fact is true. It is never too late to start, but you must start uh, first with your health. If you are healthy, then you will tend to live longer, and if you live longer, then you have more of a shot at becoming successful, more influential, more fulfilled, and to compound compound your prosperity to leave to your loved ones and for you to enjoy. Your physical health affects everything. When you change your diet for the better, you change everything for the better. Healthy foods will change your brain and will change your life. You will sleep better, feel better, and have more energy to focus on the important things and also your whole body will function better. What could be more beneficial to your life and to your success than this? So how can you become healthier? Well, the absolute first step is to stop the old habits that are not benefiting you. Stop smoking, stop drinking, stop taking tranquilizers or other pills, stop sleeping late, stop wasting time on social media and stop watching too much news. Stop consuming sugar-laden foods and, and sugar-laden drinks and stop taking drugs and stop drinking too much coffee as well or anything else that is harming or affecting your health negatively. When you change your current health situation, then you are open to improvement. Only after you stop doing what is harming your health can you start doing what will improve your health. You really want your health habits to reflect your highest ideals. Now, you may encounter some withdrawal symptoms in the beginning after stopping any harmful habits, but in the long term, you will gain much more than you ever lost, I assure you. Think about how your body and life can be a year from now if you stop smoking, stop drinking, stop taking those tranquilizers, stop sleeping late or sleeping in, and stop wasting time on social media, and stop watching too much news, and stop consuming too much sugar, too much fat, and stop taking any drugs. Just imagine how your health would improve as a result. After you stop the negative health habits, you can start with health-promoting habits such as eating healthy foods, taking a daily exercise routine, waking up early, flossing your teeth, using natural high hygiene and cleaning products, and so on. Any new habit will take time, effort, and persistence to embed into your life. When you know and understand this, then you won't betray your true potential for current comforts and you will commit to making the change. It will take approximately two months to embed a new habit into your life two months of persistent effort. But after that, the new habit will become your default habit. This is well worth the effort. Your whole life will change as a result and you will be certainly much happier and more fulfilled. And with the same amount of persistent effort, you will also become much more successful in life. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day, it's actually a few questions are, do the foods I eat improve or worsen my health? Do my sleep and exercise habits improve or worsen my health? And which habits are mine are detrimental to my health and my life? And how do my current health habits affect other areas of my life? Once you answer these questions, you will know whether it is time to first stop your bad habits or whether it is time to add beneficial habits into your life to support a healthy body and a healthy mind for your, you to achieve your highest potential. Think about where you would like to be in 3, 6, or 12 months from now with regards to your health and take the necessary steps to get you there. As usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers towards them in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time to make sure that your life is improving in the right direction for you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I am healthy and radiant and becoming healthier and healthier the older I get. I am healthy and radiant and become healthier and healthier the older I get. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because uh, repetition of an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life for the better. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button for any uh, notifications every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.